What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? All right, but it's not too bad as long as you know how to distribute. Okay, because that's all these really are. So let's start with this first example right here. So we have x plus 7 in parentheses and then a 3 out here, right? So you're just going to take this 3 and you're going to distribute it. You're going to multiply it by this first term and then by this second term. Okay, so 3 times x that's equal to 3x, right? And then 3 times 7 is equal to 21. And then since you're adding right here, you just bring that straight down, okay? So then your simplified answer right here would be 3x plus 21. Okay, now let's go to this example right here. So we have 10 minus p in parentheses and then a p out here, right? But don't let the placement of whatever's outside throw you off, okay? Because if the p is right here, it's still the same thing, you just distribute, right? The only difference here is that the P is on this side, but again, it's still the same process. You still just distribute it, okay? So to this first term and then to the second term. Okay, so P times 10, that's equal to 10 P. And then P times P is equal to P squared. And then since you're subtracting here, you just bring that straight down. And then we can't combine anything there, so then your simplified answer right here would just be 10p minus p squared. Alright, so now let's just try a couple more examples, but as you can see, these are going to be a bit of a doozy. Alright, so in parentheses right here, we have n squared plus 4s. And then out here we have 10n. The process is still the same, but we're going to have to be a little more careful when we multiply, right? So this 10n right here going to multiply it by n squared and then I'm going to multiply it by 4s. Okay so here we have 10n and then n squared you can think of this as 1n squared right there's no coefficient so when there's no coefficient you can always assume there's a 1. Okay so if you're combining like terms you're going to multiply the numbers together so here we're going to have 10 times 1. 10 times 1 is just 10. Okay so you're done with the numbers and then here we have n times n squared. And that's going to be equal to n cubed. Okay, so that's the first term. Now let's multiply it by the second term, the 4s. So again, you're going to multiply the numbers together. So we're going to do 10 times 4, which is 40, right? So again, we're done with the numbers and then multiply the variables together. But we're combining like terms, right? They have to be the same variable. So n times s, we can't combine those in any way. So we would just have n times s, like that, ns, okay? And then since we're adding right here, you just bring that straight down again, okay? So then your simplified answer right here would be 10n cubed plus 40ns. Okay, now let's do one last example here. So in parentheses, we have negative t plus 4t plus 10s squared. Now we're multiplying this whole thing by this out here, negative 2t to the fifth, okay? So again, you're going to distribute. So you're going to take this whole thing, then you're going to multiply this first term, then multiply it by the second term, and lastly, this third term, okay? So negative 2t to the fifth times negative t. And negative t, we can also write that as negative 1t, right? There's no coefficient, so you can, again, assume there's a 1 right there. Okay, so now let's combine like terms. So let's take care of the numbers first. So here we have negative 2 and negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, right? So done with the numbers right there. Okay, so then we're just left with t to the fifth times t, and this t, remember, you can think of that as t to the first, right? So we have the same base, right? We have a t there, we have a t there, so you just keep the t, and then you're going to add the exponents together. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, okay? So t to the fifth times t, or t to the first, is equal to t to the sixth. Okay, now moving on to the next term. So again, negative 2t to the fifth times 4t. So again, starting with the numbers, negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8, right? And then again, we're just left with t to the fifth times t, and like we just saw, that's equal to t to the sixth. Okay, and then, so that term's done. And then lastly, 10s squared, right? So again, taking care of the numbers, we have negative 2 times positive 10, and that's equal to negative 20. And then we have t to the fifth times s squared. Now, we 
can't combine those, right? Those are two completely different variables. So we're just going to write them out. t to the fifth s squared. That's as simplified as we can get it, okay? So then your final answer right here would be 2t to the sixth minus 8t to the sixth minus 20t to the fifth s squared. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.